एक्स्ट्रा टाइम Is his, his dedication to the game. He loved playing the game. So around here, my, my captain of St. John's, Lennox, Lenny Hutton, asked me to get to why not bring Vivian to the game? First, the first, um, first, first division league. So what I did, I talked to Viv. He told me, like, fine, he'll come. And then I went to the dad and get permission. First year, he was a little bit. Nervous, jittery, as any young kid would do. He played, played alongside me. I was playing on the team also. And the next year, he just took off. Represented Antigua Saint Paul against Saint Kitts in the Leeward Islands tournament. And from there, he just took everything off. But he was very conscientious of his talents because he played with the older guys while the younger guys played in another 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 field, right? So we appreciate that and I'm proud of that, that we are part of that. Viv found himself to playing football, right? Because he also represented Antigua um, as a football player, right? But the thing about it, as, as Donald and we, we were mentioning a, a little earlier, was how committed he was. Well, as a guy so when he played for um, Antigua, I was very mm -hmm. proud of him. Although his first, his first attempt at that was a little on the bad side, you know, he had had talents and he felt that he was not out and he was suspended for some John Gentleman behavior. But after that suspension, he just took took it to the skies, to the height he ever had to go. Yes, he certainly learned his lesson really from that, from that particular that, incident, that you know. Um, and then if you follow his career after that, you know, he didn't really depend on the umpire to give him out if he knew he was out. You know, very unlike a lot of players today, you know. If he, he had an edge, he would just pack his bag and, and walk. So that in itself had gave him, um, that was a lesson for him, well learned, um, which I think he took throughout his career. He showed me a lot of respect. As an older brother, he doesn't, he doesn't wane at that, say, well, live above me. He shows me a lot of respect. I can tell you just that. He's a, he's a, he's a good brother when it comes to that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Honestly, Viv, 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 Viv hasn't changed one bit. I mean, fame, success, he's the same person. Um, you know, uh, I, I can take you back that. If he was living in the States in the 1960s, you know, he would have been, he would have been marching with Martin Luther King. Um, if he was living in South Africa um, in, the, in the days of apartheid, he would have been marching with Mandela. You know, he's the kind of person that always, who always wanted to, um, you know, to fight for the weak and the poor. And um, our father taught us um, um, at an early age, you know, that we have to be proud for what we stand for and be careful for what we fall for. And I think that that, that particular um, message, which was given to us at an early age, is what has taken us through life. And Viv is the same person as he is. Mm -hmm.